Hello everybody and welcome back to Traversing Food where today, yep, it's the first week of the month again and we will be checking out another Russian expedition week of life ration. For those who haven't been following along, I've been trying out one of the week of life rations the first week of every month this year. I have the whole week. We've already done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday and we are up to Friday. A little bit about the ration. You do need your own water, cooking vessel, utensils, because some of these items do have to be cooked. And a little bit of nutritional info. You have 59 grams of protein, 67 grams of fat, 396 grams of carbohydrates, and 2,375 kcals. All the rations so far have run just under 2,400 kcals. This ration was uh, packed on September 10th, 2019. It has a best buy date of August 23rd, 2020. Plenty of time. So far, I think they've been enjoyable, but the only downside I've had so far is even though breakfast, lunch, and dinner are pretty much always something new, uh, everything else is the same. All your snacks and sides and everything. But well, let's dig into this. Maybe, uh, hopefully this time, the uh, packet of honey will not have broken open. But always packed up top, your main meals. Get them out of the way really quick. We'll check them out last. And where is the honey? Hopefully it's not broken. Um, that seems okay, but yeah, this one's fine. Looks like it might be a little bit crystallized. But no, the honey's fine this time. It's got a tear notch and some tie. I guess it uh, catches on some of the other items in here and breaks open. But yeah, it's okay this time. Let's get everything out of here. We'll go over everything. And try something new this time, which is uh, something that one of my viewers made a comment on that I never really thought of. But we'll touch on that subject when we get to it. And let's see what we got here. We got two packs of regular flour crackers and we have one package of like a wheat crackers we have our tomato or spicy tomato sauce it's not really a sauce not really paste but uh it is very heavily spiced or seasoned got our apple jam our vitamin drink got a package of raisins and a package of sunflower seeds. Let's see here, we have our cappuccino drink with a little packet of powdered chocolate. Got three, I guess, uh, moist towelettes or disinfectant wipes. Got two packs of tea. Have our prune and nut bar. Got our chocolate bar. Just line everything up here. Let's see here. We have some all weather matches and a striker. Got three packs of gum. Three packs of sugar. Got a packet of salt. Three bayberry candies. I like those. They're just like a red berry candy. And our packet of pepper. Roasted and salted peanuts. Our orange caramel energy drink tablet. It's like a effervescent tablet. Three napkins. Four water purification tablets. And for breakfast, we have a, I believe this is an oatmeal porridge with cherries. A 
We've got a mushroom soup. I'm sure I'll really enjoy that. And we've got buckwheat with vegetables. All right, that is everything. Got a lot of decent food. I just wish the mains were a little bit bigger, but that's okay. But let me get my tray. We'll get our breakfast started. Okay, everybody, here's breakfast. Nationally, got our oatmeal with cherries, our prune and nut bar, and if I remember right, those are hazelnuts. Got our apple jam, wheat crackers, tea, cappuccino drink, and we got our uh, sunflower seeds. I'm gonna put some in with my oatmeal. I believe this spoon is, uh, I think that's out of a US ration, and our moist towelette. But let's get our oatmeal started. I believe the oatmeal also has raisins in it. It's got honey granules, milk powder. It don't seem too bad. Yeah, it's got raisins in there. It smells nice. And we'll get our We'll pack it off the back here. It's glued on there pretty good. Always worried I'm going to tear open the packaging. Open this off to the side because I've been pretty good at spilling it everywhere. It's a very nice drink, too. I really enjoyed it. Kind of like the tea. I've enjoyed this tea, too. All right. Let me get some hot water for everything here. And before I forget, check out our little moist towelette. I like these. These are really nice. Kind of like a dryer sheet. A little bit flexible in one direction, but uh, pretty stiff in the other direction. They're not very wet. They do okay job. And the thing I like best about them, they don't smell like anything. Dries nice and quick. But let's see here. Let's get our fruit bar, our pruning nut bar out. I know some people don't like prunes. I love them. I really enjoy this bar. It's really nice. Let me get some crackers out. Oh, that just leaves there. For our apple jam. Save the rest for later. All right, let's see here. What do I want to try first? Well. Get our chocolate powder, our cappuccino drink. It's gonna be nice and there we go. There we are. And our apple jelly or jam. <laughs> I've always enjoyed this. These are Russian apple jams are always really good. Get some out on a spoon really quick. Give it a quick taste. Yep. Really good. And check out our wheat crackers. They're okay. They have a good flavor, but they are just uh, not salty at all. But they do go well with that apple jam. And our pruning nut bar, very dense, very sticky. 
these always have a really good prune flavor. The ground nuts in there, you can taste them really well. It has a nice natural sweetness to them. And it definitely packs calories. I think, uh, let me get the package here really quick. Um, looks like it's 356 calories just for that bar. And it's been about five minutes. Their tea is done. I'll check out our cappuccino drink. I love this stuff. Yeah, that has a really good flavor. Nice coffee flavor. Chocolate helps out so much. It's nice and frothy on top. Very good. And let's check out our oatmeal. Yeah, it uh seems like it's doing okay. Now well, some people probably like it a lot thicker. But for me, this this is just fine for me. I like my oatmeal a little bit on the thin side. I don't know why, I just always have. But you can see the chunks of cherries in there. I know there's raisins in there too, hiding. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, give this a try. This is actually quite good. I think you can uh, taste the raisins a little bit more than the cherries. But it's got a good texture. Has a nice milky flavor to it. Not too sweet. But next time we're gonna put some sunflower seeds in there. Just to a yeah, I'll put half of them in. Get a little more texture. I can tell it's still thickening up a little bit. But yeah, this is this is pretty good. Yeah, that's a uh, that's nice. I'll definitely be finishing that. And our tea. Yeah, I've always enjoyed that tea. I could put some honey in there, but I think it's just fine as it is. But yeah, that's going to do it for the breakfast portion. I think so far, out of all these, this has been my favorite breakfast so far. I'll probably dump the rest of the sunflower seeds in here, though. But yeah, everything's great. But until then, I'll see you at lunch. Okay, everybody, here we are for lunch. Our main meal for lunch is going to be our mushroom soup. And one thing I do like about this, I did look at the ingredients, and this does not have that standard beef bouillon base like a lot of the other ones have, or the freeze-dried like chicken meatballs. This one actually has a mushroom base powder to it, and dried shiitake mushrooms, plus a lot of other vegetables, but like the other soups, 400 mils of water, let it simmer for 20 to 25 minutes. Got a package of raisins hiding back here. Our salted and roasted peanuts, salt and pepper, got our orange caramel effervescent drink, got our bayberry candy, and that's pretty much going to be it. Well, let's get our soup opened up here, let's see what it looks like. I mean, a lot of, a lot of vegetables in there. like a nice healthy soup and uh see plenty of the chunks of mushroom in there carrot i can smell onions i think there's a lot of garlic in there too but yeah smells good but yeah um let me get this in some water let it get simmering get some of the other items ready okay now that we got our soup going let's get our drink started this calls for about 200, 250 mils of water. That's about right. I said it's just an effervescent tablet. I like these, they're pretty good. You know, they're kind of artificial orange flavor, but I do like them. Get the raisins out. Oh, 
I should just put the raisins right here because I do like mixing my raisins with my peanuts. Nice, uh, sweet and salty. Yeah, raisins. They're not dried out. They still got some moisture to them. They're good though. Yeah, I know while this is going, it kind of gets a little film on top and it looks weird. The raisins are good. They're not, they don't have extra sugar mixed with them. Just a natural sweetness. And our roasted and salted peanuts. Yeah, those are really good too. Have a nice roast to them. But I've always enjoyed you know, mixing raisins and peanuts together. Always tastes good to me. Yeah, those always did go pretty good together. Give her a drink a quick mix. Really don't need to. Give it a try. Yeah, I always thought that was pretty good. Has a nice orange flavor. It's pretty artificial, but it's okay. I never really did taste any caramel to it. But it's a little bit got a little bit of tartness to it. Not too sweet. I enjoy it. Okay, let me get my bowl back here. Soup is ready. Smells really nice. Has a nice earthy smell to it. Let's see if I can try not to splash it everywhere. Got rice in there too. All right. That smells nice. You got parsley in there. I smell onions. You see all the carrots. The rice always sinking to the bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna try the broth first. Let's see how it tastes on its own. Yeah, that has a very nice flavor to it. Very, I guess you can say oniony. <laughs> All the soups have had a lot of onions in them. But definitely a lot of bits of mushrooms in there. I kind of wish the pieces of mushrooms were a little bit bigger. It's not too salty. It seems like it uh it could use some pepper. I'm giving her a taste here. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. You know, I simmered it long enough. The uh, the shiitake mushrooms, which is, I guess, why I wish the pieces were bigger. If you've never had them before, the mushrooms are just fine, but the stems are very woody, and, and it seems like this has a lot of stem pieces in there. But it does have good flavor. And then technically, that's really not a concern, but for those who uh, haven't had shiitakes before, like I said, the stems are very woody, and if you eat the stems, well, they come out the same way. <laughs> I'll check out our Bayberry candy. I'm sure y'all probably didn't want to hear any of that, but hey, it's the way it is. And those Bayberry candies, really nice. They're, they're like a red fruit, a little bit sweet, has a little bit, seems like a creamy center. Very nice. But anyway, that's going to do it for lunch. Everything's really good. So far, Friday's menu has been the best so far of the week. The soup, in a way, I wish it was a little bit less on the onion flavor and a little bit more on the mushroom flavor. But still, very nice. You know, everything likes to sink to the bottom. There, There's plenty of veggies in there. Now I will finish that. But until then, I'll see you at dinner. Okay, here we are for dinner. We have our buckwheat with vegetables, our chocolate bar, vitamin drink, and the one thing I was mentioning earlier about the uh, spicy tomato paste. You know, usually when I think of tomato paste, you know, I always think of condiments. But one of my viewers uh, recommended, since it's got a lot of spices in there, and what I mean by that, besides just being tomato paste, it's got a lot of coriander in there, salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, uh, I think it's got cloves and cinnamon vinegar. They mentioned, why don't you add some hot water to it and make it in a little, like, cup of soup? 
So yeah, I'm going to see how well that dissolves and make it into a soup. And I've got our spoon again, U.S. version, I believe, and a piece of gum. Got some crackers here to go with the soup if I feel like adding some. Got some salt and pepper. But let's uh, check out our buckwheat with vegetables. I don't think this has the chicken meatballs in there. But I believe it has the... Uh, beef bouillon flavor which it does I can smell it <laughs> you definitely smell a lot of onions you know one thing about some of these mains it's got a lot of onions in there both regular onions and fried onions but it just calls for 200 mils of water and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes so I'm going to get I don't know if they got I don't think I need one. But I do know one thing. Gotta open these up quite a bit because they are chunky. I don't know why the vitamin drink is just chunky. It's always like that. As you can see. And we will get our tomato paste into this cup and we get everything in there it's pretty thick it's also pretty dark I think it's uh, 30 grams so I don't know how much water to add so like I said I think it's just more like a condiment and it really doesn't taste like ketchup or tomato paste yeah, I'll probably add about four ounces of hot water and see how that does. Speaking of which, let me get some water. We'll get some water into our vitamin drink here. About 200, about 250 mils. Give it a quick stir and I'm going to get some hot water really quick for our main and our soup. Okay, here is 200 mils of hot water. Get our spoon really quick. Give that a stir. And like I said, just says to uh, cover it and uh, let it sit 10-15 minutes. So I am going to set this off to the side. Just cover it with a plate. Let it do its thing. And add about four ounces of water. To our tomato paste. And we'll see how that does. Seems like a decent amount. It's uh, not watery, it's not thick. It's about soup-like, like a tomato soup would be. I can easily smell the coriander. Like I said, like I think the fourth ingredient is like coriander in this. I can smell the cloves. It smells actually pretty good. And we'll check out our chocolate bar. I love these chocolate bars. These are excellent. Nice dark chocolate. I like them because they're not too bitter and they're not too sweet. It has a really good balance. But yeah, let's uh, let's check out this uh, kind of, I guess, soup or spicy tomato soup. And that is actually not too bad. I don't know if you can see really close in there. There's a uh, chunks of black pepper in there. I'm looking at the ingredients, you know, it said black pepper, fragrant pepper, and red pepper, which is cayenne pepper. So I don't know what they mean by fragrant pepper. Let's uh, I'm just gonna break some crackers up in there. Be like little croutons. Give that a little stir. 
One thing about these uh, crackers, they're not very salty at all. But the soup has salt in it, or the tomato paste has salt in it. So that works out pretty good. Let those soak for a little bit. Check out our vitamin drink. I've always enjoyed that. It has a nice flavor. Now you can taste the vitamins. Almost has a little bit, I don't know, kind of like an apple, maybe pineapple flavor. It's hard to tell what flavor it is, but it's a nice flavor. Not too sweet. It's not tart. Pretty enjoyable. Let's get some of our, see how our crackers are doing after a few minutes here. See how they taste. And yeah, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I forget who uh, mentioned it, but I'm actually glad somebody mentioned to uh, make this into a soup. But like I said, it is heavy on the cardamom, but I enjoy that. It's, that's really nice. Let's check out our buckwheat with vegetables. I did give it a stir halfway through. You can easily see all the carrots and the onions. There is maybe a touch of water in the bottom, but this rehydrated very nicely. Smells great, even though it's that it's that standard beef bouillon flavor that's in about all of the mains. Let's give this a try. And you know, everything rehydrated really nice has a good texture but like a lot of the mains for lunch and dinner man about all you taste is onion really heavy on the onion flavor I think I know how to take care of that yeah now I dumped the whole pack in there I almost feel like dumping some of that tomato soup in there too my goodness all right, let's give this another try. Now I ought to get out my bottle of hot sauce. Yeah, you can taste a little bit of the pepper, but the onion still cuts through everything. And we'll check out our chocolate bar. I love this. Very nice chocolate bar, very dark. And personally, I think these chocolate bars are pretty much my favorite so far. They're a little bit sweet, a little bit bitter, has a really nice balance. I mean, I just love them. Now we'll check out our gum. Open it up a little more. Just one little piece. And I know that's just one little piece, but I would say for a mint to sweetness ratio, that is probably 80% mint and 20% sweet. It is really heavy on the mint flavor, but it's a really good mint flavor. In a way, I wish they came with two pieces, but that's okay. Very enjoyable. Doesn't really get too rubbery over time either. But anyway, that's going to do it for this Russian Expedition Week of Life Friday menu. So far, I think the Friday menu has been my favorite so far. Breakfast and lunch were excellent. Dinner, eh, I think uh, the spicy tomato soup that I made up with the tomato paste, it probably would have benefited with the buckwheat and vegetables, but it's still okay on its own. I still have Saturday and Sunday menu to do, and I'll definitely be making soup with that spicy tomato paste. Also, keep a lookout. I may do another video today on Sunday. Just a little sit down, chat about the channel, and just chat about life in general. It's been a while since I had a little sit down. But anyway, like I said, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.